Today, I'm pausing for my scheduled project to help a neighbor of mine. Her grandbaby is coming to visit and she's never met him before. She'd like to take this high chair that her own kids used and clean up a little bit before his visit so he has a nice place to sit. There's some funky screws. For the most part, this is in really good condition given its age and I'm guessing it's probably 40, 50, 60 years old maybe. But all the joints seem to be pretty good. It's a bit loose. Oh, there's a loose one. Ooh, it's really loose. Looks like there might have been some kind of strap at one time. Yeah, it's here too. take apart the back I've got to take out these wedges just to release the tension on the spindle I guess it's a spindle which will then release the, the whole top part and I need to do that in order to re-glue up some of these spindles in the back piece and this does not go down very far at all should be easy to take out Seems to be a little bit of staining here. I'm not sure I want to think about what that is given the location of it. Put a little bit of oxalic acid on here. I'll do the whole seat while I'm at it. Let me take these parts, place them in some vinegar. So the oxalic acid did a pretty good job on this stain. It's pretty much gone. There's still a little bit of dark in, in the, um, the wood. I don't think I'm going to get rid of that. The underside is not finished at all. There's a little bit of stain on there, but there's no finish. This should come off real easy. Smooth as a baby's body. Of all the pieces of the old high chair, this is obviously the grungiest, being where everybody's been touching and food, of course. It's sticky and kind of smells a little bit. Anyway, it should be an easy cleanup. I would like to take these out. However, there are little nails in here, little brad nails or maybe staples that are holding in these arms. And quite frankly, I don't see a really need to take them out. I can clean around them. But the wood is cracked here, and that will have to be glued up. Yeah.
So I let this sit overnight. It is super solid now. This part right here is super disgusting. Really dirty, crusty, really crusty. I'm guessing that the baby would, would hold on to the, the sides here on either side with food on the hands and all because it is really <laughs> gross. Trying to remain going with the wood grain as much as I can. There are two small cracks on this uh, food tray, one here and one on the other side along the seam where these two boards meet. They don't, it does not go through, so I'm just going to fill it in with a little piece of wood um, just to seal that crack up. Yeah, that fits in there perfectly. While these pieces are drying, I'm going to address some of this discoloration. This is probably from things that have been on the, the tray over the years, liquids, foods. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's slight discoloration. I'm going to use, put a little oxalic acid on there to uh, see if I can't even out a little bit before applying stain. Typically after I sand by turning, um, I do sand again along with the grain to remove any um, you know, swirl marks, but any marks left behind by the turning motion of the, um, of the lathe and the sandpaper. If you'd like to see me do some real lathe work, I'll leave a link to two videos below in which I actually have to, to make some parts on the lathe as opposed to just using it as a prop for sanding. So there's some residual glue in these holes, which needs to be cleared out before I re-glue the piece together. One tip, if you run a Forstner bit through here to clear out glue, run it backwards so you don't, you don't dig the hole even further than it's supposed to be.
So even though I still have some more sanding to do on the legs of the chair, I'm going to go ahead and attach, reattach the seat now. It'll stabilize the legs for me and give it time to set up while I'm working on everything else. I am going to use high glue. I don't think this is an antique, but maybe it is. So the plan had been to do some zinc plating on these parts to ensure that they don't rust again. However, I can't find my zinc plates. So, change of plan. The blackened layer on these screws will help prevent uh, any future corrosion. And frankly, it just kind of looks cool too. Forgot to clean the holes in these ones. She loves the taste of high glue. I have to be super careful. If I leave it out, she will definitely eat it. No, no. Because these are straight backed spindles, you don't have to worry about them setting in a certain spot. These will fit straight in. Oh, nice. I have to make a wedge, two wedges, for the seat back. If you remember, I had to drill out the wedge when I removed it. Um, this is a piece of wood from a project I posted a couple weeks ago. Uh, I cut this off of a dresser that I was transforming into a, a mid-century modern, and so this wood is probably, I'm guessing, 50, 60 years old itself. So the time period's right, hopefully. Um, and I'll cut it into a couple wedges to replace what I drilled out. not coming off. I almost forgot to do these.
these spots. I think these are water spots. It started raining when I was outside. I thought I had wiped everything down and sanded again. Just light sanding to get off. But I may have missed these. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. So you can see this part here. This had also been rained on, but I actually dried it off and sanded just a little bit using 220 grit. Um, and I don't have those watermarks here. I'm going to have to go back to that foot piece and uh, sand and stain it again once it has a chance to dry. I'm going to do the rest of this off camera. I think you've seen enough staining. I'd be falling asleep right now if I were you. I'll come back when it's time to put the final finish on. Sanding the surface with some 400 grit sandpaper just to smooth out some of the nibs and the lacquer. So off camera, I plugged this screw, screw hole that was in the front here that apparently held some strap at one time. Um, and I re-drilled it out to fit this hook. And I'll show you in just a minute what I'm going to do with this. Perfect. This is a tack cloth. It's going to remove any dust from my sanding before I give one final coat of lacquer. So I plan to make a baby restraint strap out of this uh, piece of leather. I was going to try and age it and make it look somewhat time appropriate. But I realized that my one piece I have is way too short to reach from the um, food tray to the bottom of the, um, the seat where it would hook into to hold the, you know, to hold the baby in place. So I'm going to make one out of this. Crude, but it will be effective and removable so that if I can make a leather one later, I can do that. But because um, the person from home doing this needs it tonight. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick strap out of this. Sweet.